Let's go live. We are live again. So this time we're gonna talk about a you know in this world of dead people, you know, it's good from time to time, you know, to to witness some uh, some life. And finally I I found some life, you know, which just keeps me living, you know. This little bits of you know life here and there, and uh, in my opinion, uh, what I'm about to show you right here, right now, is something uh, powerful. And in my opinion, it's unbelievable that this stuff is still uh, <coughs> here online. So after uh, you know, I was watching the latest video of the the guy, um, one of my heroes, which is Sean Ross, which, you know, there is this guy, yeah, Pedro, Pedro, I don't know if you can uh, see this video, man, from Brazil, my buddy from Brazil, he says to me, Sean Ross just posted a video about Dr. Catherine Horton, that made me so confused, Marcel, because that means he must be a shield, he must be a shield. Have you ever seen her videos? And if I go and click on this, uh, so it says that on my video he commented, but since we are living in, the, in China, guys, this comment doesn't show up, because my, co my, uh, my channel, and uh, it's, it's extremely blocked by uh, Factubas, as Sean calls it. Now the problem is this man, uh, and, and this is the, the purpose of all this video. The problem is that, uh, is that we humans uh, have to rely always on, um, on someone which has a little, a little bit more, more bolts than the rest, you know, just like in this case here, just like in this image here, you know. We are the sheeple guys, which have uh, we, we we have the millions and billions on, uh, of numbers and everything, but yet we cannot do something more than this. We always want, you know, to follow someone, you know. And of course, when you are in in this condition, man, you have you have to be always suspicious of everybody. You know, is Sean Rose this? Is Catherine Horton that? You know, you, you will never know, guys. You know, we know the enemy uses this uh, these tactics of uh, just uh, falling us into these little uh, traps, you know. But the problem is, you know, the problem is humanity in, in general, you know, that... Uh, and this is why I'm making this video also. Which, has, as I my last video showed, I, I put the end of the description. So, which really I had nothing to say after that last video uh, anymore but uh, you know I just saw this video that just gave me a little bit of hope this video right here that I'm going to play right now and the problem is this man uh, how come how come uh, humanity is in this state that only a few of us you know risk and um, you know are, are, are brave so to speak you know, and do things like this. <sighs> okay. So this guy sees that the, the police, you know, <laughs> Volkswagen, <laughs> vegan warrior, is harassing someone. Uh, just stop someone and just sucking our blood, you know. And he goes there. And since, uh, at least in America, you know, this, it's, n uh, it's not a problem, uh, you can film this, uh, these thugs, you know. You go there, uh, by approaching him, and, uh, and look what happens, guys. <laughs> uh, this is what happens. So this guy starts to film him, like this, uh, very near to the police, you know. And the police is kind of, you know, harassing the... the one one of us, you know, sheep, stop the sheep there, and he's uh, give him the fine and everything, you know. 
and the police, you know, get, gets his money from the system and everything, you know, and can be, uh, <laughs> the system can make him do whatever they want, he doesn't care. He doesn't have any value, he doesn't want to see the bigger picture, you know, of what, I'm, what am I doing, you know. And everything, you know, but who cares, you know, I'm just powerful right now and I can do this. And uh, after her ends uh, harassing that uh, sheep there, he comes here. But here the problem is that you're dealing with a wolf, which is this guy here. Uh, that for the moment I don't know the name, but I will, we will find out. And who knows for how how long this guy will be alive? Because he's, he's really uh, uh, courageous in his actions and everything. And uh, who knows with this kind of life, uh, you will not. Uh, I guarantee you, man. The system is, you know, structured in a way to to get rid of uh, alive people. You know, so. This we won't get this for long, but it's just beautiful in my opinion to, to see these courageous people. So let's see what he does, you know. And this is something that happens. We all know, for example, that when uh, when I had the car, for example, the police when it, when they stop you, if they really want, if they see that you, for example, are, are you know just very cold with them, as they uh, would uh, would be better treated in my opinion you know, to be cold with them with these monsters if they see that you don't smile and and, uh, and kiss their ass they will harass you for example how many times they, they would just go around your car for example and they would say you know you have this uh, direction light that doesn't work for example BS like this just so that they, they can just find you and just you know, to say to you shut up I win you know and, uh, and this is what happened in this case. This guy was nervous that, that he was filming him. And uh, what happens is that he just thinks in his mind, you know, what can I do to him? What can I do? And he, and here's the solution, guys. Jaywalking. <laughs> Jaywalking. <laughs> Jaywalking. So he just crossed the road without, you know, uh, going in the, you know, the white lines, you know, so... The white uh, lines that you know have to cross. I don't know how, what's the name in English. You know how dare the sheep, you know, harass me, you know, by by filming, you know, by filming me. How dare! Hey, what up? What up? Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> Is jaywalking. Oh, okay. So, do you have your ID on you? Man, what's uh, what's that? Your identification. What's that? Your driver's license. Oh, I don't have a driver's license on me. Okay. Have you ever had an Arizona driver's license or identification card? Oh man, can I can I get my lawyer on the scene? I don't want to answer any more questions. Oops, oops, and and here everything changes, guys, because the guy realizes that he he's not dealing with the usual sheeple that doesn't know the tricks of the law and everything, you know. And at that point, he. Everything changes, guys, because he's not dealing with someone that he can fool easily. Let, let me get my lawyer on the scene. Let me get my lawyer on the scene real quick. No it's a crime. Hey, let me get my lawyer on the scene so I can get, get all the all the all the you answers. Have question. Right to an attorney, do I identify yourself? Okay. Do I do I do I need what do I need to do? I need you to identify yourself. And my name is Bao. Okay. Yeah, my name is Bao. Okay. I'm not going to ask you any questions. Sure. Since you ask for an attorney, I'll respect that. Sure, right. sure, I appreciate that. I, I need appreciate. to identify you sure. because you committed a, a traffic violation. Sure. Jaywalking Man, those are nice boots. Thank you. Can I lick them? Can you what? Can I lick them? Uh, at this point, I was almost dying of, uh, <laughs> of uh, you know, laughing. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is, you know, in my opinion, this video is it's so powerful, it's, it's unbelievable. And um, and this guy, you know, if you, if you don't have the brain, it might look that this guy is just, you know, a piece of shit, some, someone just there, 
but, but this guy is, is using like humor to make fun of the idea that right now you're, I'm your slave, you know. And he's saying to him, you know, can I lick your, <laughs> your boots? <laughs> Man, it's, 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 I, I, I really was, you know, I almost was crying really for, uh, w when I watched this video, really. Because it's it's so powerful, man. No, Come on, man, let me lick him. Bow. It's spell it's spell uh it's spell uh B is in uh civil, A is in rights, and O is in lawsuit. Okay. And what okay. Oh man. Oh man. Come on. <laughs> oh man. What a spelling, man. <laughs> and now Fritz. Dr. Frisch here is in uh, is in trouble. He can also he can only you know uh, go back to something violent because he understands that <laughs> that maybe uh, it's he's not the, the best prey you know. What's your last name, Bob? It's spelled Nguyen. It's spelled uh, N G U Y N. N G. 1983 complaint. That's what. It's, that's how you spell okay, it. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. As long as you understand. What's your birthday? As long as you understand. What's your birthday? As long as you understand. What? December first, nineteen eighty-two. As long as you understand what I'm saying, yeah, you're good to go. Okay. And is it an Arizona ID card that you have so I can confirm your identity? How do you know I have anything? I'm I just told you how I was. I just already told you how I was. Right. Right. But okay. I but can, what? I can try to look you up. No, I already told you how I was. No, thank you. I, I want to sidewalk. You're detained. I'm being detained. All right. I'm over here. All right. You, where do you want me to go? I'm over here on the bike. All right. Just, just. I'm over here. Okay. I will. I will. I'm. I'm. Hey. I'm gonna. If, I'm gonna do whatever you say, man. I'm gonna do whatever you say. I'm gonna do whatever you say, man. I'm gonna. I'm gonna comply with. I'm gonna comply, man. I'm gonna comply. Oh, you're fine. Stand Yeah. I'm gonna comply, man. All right. I'll stand right here, man. I won't do anything. Hey, those are nice boots. <laughs> Come on. Let me lick them. Come on, let your buddy bow lick him. Come on, let your buddy bow lick him. Come on, come on, come on, let your buddy bow lick him. Come on. Hey, what's your name? I'm sorry, dude. I didn't ask you what your name was, man. Fritz. I'm sorry? I... Fritz. Fritz? Can you say that again? The wind's blowing in my ear. Fritz? Yeah, Fritz. Fritz? Spell that for me. F R I T S C H. Got it, got it, got it. Got it. L look at the sheep all commenting. Obey, bow. Obey. Hey, can you? Uh, can I tell you? Uh, can I ask you what you're detaining me for? Yeah, for jaywalking right here. It's jaywalking now. What kind of crime is that? It's an ARS Title 28 violation. It's a, it's a what? It's an ARS violation. So are, are you making a legal determination that I just broke a law? Yes. Are, are you? So are you qualified to come to legal determinations? What school did you go to to get that qualification? You know the prosecutor's gonna listen to this, right? You know you're gonna get, you know you're gonna get, you, you know he's gonna, he's gonna throw you off the bench, right? You, you know that when I put you on the stand and I start asking you about elements of the crime, he's gonna say, objection, judge. The officer's not qualified to answer that question. The officer's incompetent and is unqualified to come to a legal uh, conclusion. You know that, right, Fritz? You know the prosecutor is going to object to you answering that question when I when I cross examination you. Oh 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 oh! Fritz is uh, in deep trouble right now, and uh, and Bao uh, can uh, can feel this fear of him, and he now attacks him viciously. Bao the police, right? Uh, because he knows, and and this is the intelligence you know here. He knows when he can attack someone. Because he knows every trick that they want to play on you. And this time didn't work for the police, of course. As long as you know that, that's fine. 
You know that, Fritz? You look like you don't know. Hey, how, when's the last time you've been sued, Fritz? When's the last time I dragged your ass in, or someone dragged your ass into federal court? Huh? You look, you look relatively young, Fritz. You look relatively young. You haven't been sued yet, huh? Yeah. Let, let's hope you don't have any pensions. Let's hope you don't have any pension, Fritz. You gonna make an ass of yourself when I get you on the stand, Fritz? You know? You unqualified ass dude. You think you're qualified to come to legal determination, you idiot? <laughs> you might want to check with the DA, you idiot. <laughs> Fritz or bitch? <laughs> Is his name Fritz or bitch? Bao is a short asshole. Objection, Your Honor. The witness is not qualified to answer that question. <laughs> and uh, and what happens in, in, in this case is that uh, this guy Bao, of course, not in this case, but in another case, will be punished. Punished. They will put him in jail, and I will show you right now when he goes to this judge that uh, just for a ticket, you know, he ends up in uh, staying in jail for, for I don't I don't remember how how long, but very long. And uh, and in my opinion, this was just so that uh, you know, so that people do not emulate what what he does, what he does, which is which can be dangerous. Of course, you can know the tricks on uh, that they play with you, so that they will always win, you know. And and you can get away from time to time. But after a while, these masons, you know, there's these monsters here. They will find out that this guy is uh, is using our law that we invented, you know, and uh, he's using his brain and everything, and he's getting away with it. So, so let's punish him, and we can find the way, you know. So the law works, guys, as long as they they want want it to, to work. As an example of the, of uh, someone, you know, stopping you with a car, you know. They will always find a way, you know, to, to say to you that, you know, you, you have problems with this car. They will always find the, the problem. And, uh, and, they, they, and they will punish you. And so the problem is this. Uh, how many sheep out there, for example, can go through, uh, through something like this, or through the, the hardship that they will put on you if you don't follow... And, um, what they want you to do, you know, so, which is to be dead. Mm -hmm. Can people, you know, go through all this? Uh, and I will show you now uh, other other bits, you know, and I will talk later about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then you'll be stuck going to depositions with me for the next couple of years. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ask for a stupid visor. <laughs> uh. How you doing, sir? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Was it good? So, so this guy, you know, it's the usual sheeple, you know, that uh, doesn't respect, you know, normal people. He just respect authority. And he just gave him... Uh, he's back and uh, he's going away and what look what he does you know to someone that you know just ignored him you know in that way look how how cleverly he he makes fun of him with a already have a good day sir with the same technique hey those are nice shoes can i lick them <laughs> oh man You know, never show anger 
to this monsters guy you have to, to, to be clever and just to make fun of, of this this dumbness you know what state does he claim yeah yeah he he, he thinks he can come to legal conclusions <laughs> so two different things I chose oh <laughs> yeah I'm dead and you are a little kid here come here and let me punish you of, uh, I don't care. I really don't care. At this point, I really don't care what you have to say. Yeah, eat a dick. Eat a dick. A eat a dick. Class. Eat a fucking dick, you, you idiot. Eat a, eat a dick. Eat a dick. I encourage you to eat my dick. You stupid motherfucker. You're a dumb motherfucker. You know that? You're a dumb motherfucker. You know that? You about the stupidest motherfucker I've ever met in my whole life. You know that? You stupid motherfucker. You's a stupid motherfucker. No thanks. No fucking thanks. I don't accept contract from thugs on the side of the road. Fuck you. This 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 interaction isn't voluntary. This is not voluntary right now. Eat a fucking dick. You stupid motherfucker. Serve these nuts, you stupid motherfucker. This is not a voluntary interaction. Okay? You detain me illegally, you dumb motherfucker. I'll see you in federal court, you stupid fuck. You stupid fuck. I already know your information. I'll be talking to your chief, you stupid motherfucker. Eat a dick. Eat a fucking dick. Eat a fucking dick. Eat a fucking dick. Fail these fucking nuts, you stupid motherfucker. Eat a fucking dick. Eat a fucking dick. Hey, I'm gonna get on a public sidewalk. Eat yeah. a fucking dick. No thanks. Am I still being detained? Am I still being detained? You're Fuck you. Fuck you. Like Fuck you, bitch. How about that? Detain these fucking nuts, you stupid motherfucker. Yeah. That's right. I know you do, you stupid you motherfucker. You welfare day. fucking recipient. You're a fucking welfare recipient. Eat a fucking dick, you stupid motherfucker. You know, guys, we, we are the sheeple guys. Uh, we can see here. And, uh, and vegan warriors as slaves, guys. You know, when you have given so much time to uh, training to, to be the bad guy you know you will protect that kind of life you know we are just you know given this uniforms you know one of us you know the sheep you know which is the little kid to be treated and the other ones you know uh, daddy the powerful daddy that uh, can kick you can do whatever you uh, he wants with you and we we have people killed and uh, all these problems because of course when you when you uh, the sheeple you know is uh, is given this uh, this job of being a little kid he will act like as a little kid because th there's no other way can the law for example treat you as a human being no you are treated as 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 a, as a little kid. And, and, and the nice thing, guys, is that they've made us, we dummies, do all this hell in this earth, guys. We just takes a little bit of money. And this dummy, you know, will see, you know, oh, this is the only way I can get money. So he sees nothing wrong here. Nothing. Fucking welfare recipient. Yeah, which is true, yeah. The Matrix gives us money you know, only if we do what they want, which is to be evil. Then there are people, you know, they will find them, you know. They are everywhere, which will gladly take this, this job, you know, and just be monsters without having a conscience like this. You've been served a JY. Serve these nuts, you stupid bitch. You stupid fucking bitch. Serve these fucking nuts. Here, Don't approach me, bitch. Stand right there next to the no, I'm not. I'm not following any any anything you're you had said to me. Fuck you. You're the, you're and if you don't, you know, uh, act like a little kid. For some reason, this this dude is not doing properly his job because most of them would have just taken the gun and. Uh, but this guy doesn't have that huge of ego, in my opinion, that uh, is hurt. But by what he but but what uh, bow this guy here is saying to him you're illegally detaining me you're illegally detaining me you stupid motherfucker fuck you bitch fuck you am i being detained come here come here it's just like a daddy with little kid come here come here i tell you you're illegally detaining me bitch fuck you fuck you accept these nuts you stupid bitch accept this fucking nuts 
Yeah, laugh all you want, you stupid bitch. Refuse these nuts, you bitch. You don't even understand what refusing is. He, he's also smiling, you know, because he, he understands it's all fear, you know. It's all fear. He, he, he doesn't expect uh, such an, uh, an interaction with this guy and he's laughing because he didn't expect, you know, someone to act as, uh, as an adult. He has never seen something like this, you know. He is all powerful, you know. Whatever he says is low. Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you! Stupid motherfucker! Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you! No, you, no, you let, you said, no, am I being detained? Yeah. Get a manager on site right now. Get a manager here right now. I want a manager on site. And, and he was lucky, man, because it's day. There is a guy watching here. There are cars passing here. And he can, uh, he cannot be completely crazy as most of these monsters do, because even if they do, you know, this other of their bodies, you know, will protect them. This monster here. Of course. Come back to the Shut seat up, bitch! If you don't, I'll put you in handcuffs. Have a seat over there. This is, none of this is voluntary. None of this is voluntary. None of this is voluntary. Man, if, if anyone today steal, and I'm talking to the vegan warrior also, steal protects and, and, uh, and thinks that these people are, are useful to us, you are a horrible human being in my opinion. Because you can clearly say that we have been put in these two categories. The sheeple, which should be uh, should behave as a herd, you know, as, as, as they want us, you know, as stupid. And then they will say to you, ah, oh, since you are like little kids, you know, <laughs> since being an adult it's not per, per, uh, permitted to us anymore they they uh, shape you the way they want and they will say to you ah look since there's crime everywhere which they with their tension that they create their tension between us and everything will uh, will show you that look look it's like having uh, like uh, lots of animals and they are filthy with each other now look since you are all you know messed up here of course you, you let me live in the piece of shit of a place here, a shitty place, of course I'm all dirty, you know, we'll say the sheep, you know. And so that's the, the uh, there's no excuse for having these monsters and treating us like, like pieces of shit like this. And everybody who, which uh, justifies this, for me, is an evil, is a problem. Be because we have arrived at a point where these monsters are clearly dysfunctional in the system. And don't you ever say to me that it's, no, it's, it's the people that are dysfunctional, that's why we have them. No, no. It's like saying, you know, uh, this little kid is tied up, you know, and, uh, and you need a, a father to take care of him. Let me, let me free, man. And there was this example of a vegan warrior saying, you know, that uh, uh, that's why we need uh, traffic lights. Otherwise, people would, uh, would just kill each other. And I tried to explain the chat, but he didn't read it, of course. If you have a big city, you need traffic lights. Lots of traffic. So you need traffic lights. There's no other way. But if the city was more humane, not so big with all this population, you know, people would have, like, social pressure. So, that, for example, when you are in a, in, at the crossroad, you know, if you, you know, do not let the other guy pass, you will be seen as, a, as doing something uh, really bad, you know, something not... Uh, not I can't find the word. You know, it's it, it's someone. You know, when you see uh, an old lady, for example, uh, and you don't give her her seat, for example, people around you would see you as as uh, as, as a piece of shit. Okay, I'm not finding the words. So I'm using these bad words. So, the same way, if you cross the road and and you pass in front of the other guy, you know, even 
in a situation where there are no traf traffic lights, you will be seen and will be remembered by people around you. You know, that guy is a piece of shit. He just, you know, uh, you know, he, he doesn't, he, he just tries to take advantage, advantage of people. And you will not gain in that kind of system. And do you think that is not possible? It was possible. This is how we, we have lived for a very long time, guys. People were decent with each other. Yeah? But since now we are, we are bunched up in these huge cities. These huge cities, you know, to manage all these sheep, you know, they need police, they need violence and stuff like this. Voluntary. None of this is voluntary. None of this is voluntary. I don't know who this guy is. Can you identify yourself, sir? Sit down. None of this is voluntary. I'm being no, Nobody talks to you when you are a piece of shit, man. Nobody talks to you. If that guy, you know, he was asked, uh, who are you? Pr 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 tell me who you are. Identify yourself. If, who, if he was asked by the police, he would uh, reply. He would answer back. But if you, a piece of shit, a normal human being, ask him, they will not. That's why we have corruption, guys. People don't want to have trouble. Because these people are, are dangerous. These are the bullies. It's my violent thug with a gun. This is your property. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> this is your property. Yeah, this is your property. You know, your property is, you know, our f fines, you know. Piece of paper that tell you that you have to give us money. This is your property. You piece of shit. Yeah, you've never been drugged into federal court, have you? Do you want me to respond? Every minute counts, buddy. Every minute counts. Every minute counts. You know, it's like it's like a thousand eighty-five dollars, uh, eighty-seven dollars a minute, according to the Supreme Court. You know that, right? You fucking stupid bitch. You stupid fucking bitch. Now your married man. Now your manager's in on it. Now he might have he might have his assets liable now. His assets might be liable now. His pensions might be liable. You know? You lose your qualified immunity. You lose your qualified immunity when you do shit like this. You have no reason to detain me right now. What's what's your what's your what's your reason? What's your article? Serve these nuts, bitch! Serve these fucking nuts! I didn't leave shit. Fuck you, bitch! You didn't serve nothing. Serve these fucking nuts, you dumb motherfucker. And the problem is you left it there. The problem is you're a bitch. You're a dumb bitch, that's the problem. You're a dumb bitch. You're a dumb bitch. Now, now, you just broke a federal law. <laughs> There's 150 people watching you, you dumb bitch. A couple of them are lawyers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, eat these nuts. Accept these nuts, you dumb motherfucker. You stupid bitch. Yeah, now what, bitch? Now what, you stupid bitch? Accept my nuts. Man, if I was treated like this, I, I would just, you know, take the gun and just kill myself right now. But these people are, have no conscience, man. You know, this, this guy was completely uh, just humiliated. And yet he's still, uh, like, smiling and still with his bullshit, you know. And if you just accept this, eh, what a dummy, man. And this, this is the, the thing, guys. This, these people are chosen like this. They have no sense of humor. They, they, they don't, do not realize that he, he was just completely crashed, you know, <laughs> and humiliated, you know. But th th these people have no, no decency.
These are monsters, total monsters, guys. Except my nut. You know, they are very good at, you know, these calculators, you know, like numbers, you know, documents, and this BS, you know. These dummies, you know. Whatever it takes to get that, to get that piece of paper. These are the, the zombies that make this place a hell. These zombies like here. Look at this zombie, it's full of them. 99.99% is like this, guys. Dumb like this. No conscience at all. Except my Here we go. Here, here come some other dummies, you know. On the scene. Nuts. What up, what up, big dog? What up, what up, big dog? <laughs> big dog. <laughs> oh man. This video was taken maybe after he was in jail. And since uh, he suffered when he was in jail because he was put even in uh, confinement because of... Maybe because of this, what happened here, maybe. No, it was before, so maybe for another kind of ticket or something. And, uh, and he, he's an intelligent guy, you know, he understands them now. Because he, he was in a prison and knows how to deal with this. He understands that these are like little kids, you know. And he's just treating them, yeah, just saying to them, you know, hey, what a big, big dog, you know. Big dog, just like that, and heard their face. Look at the dummies. You know, someone calls them big dog. Not a shame at all. They have no shame just, just going outside like this, dressed up like this. This dummies. Like I said, man, if you accept Fuck you, bitch! He, Fuck he, you! He continues, he continues. Yeah. You stupid bitch! Fuck you, you're a dumb bitch, you ain't shit! I'm not gonna leave with this because otherwise my big dog will kick me in my ass. <laughs> you're a fucking Mom, pussy! Mommy. Fuck you! Oh, he's not accepting the citation. Fuck you! Fuck you, bitch! You're a fucking dumbass! This shit's gonna cost Tucson! You dumbass! Every minute I'm being detained, you dumb motherfucker! You think you're quality? Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! You're a dumb motherfucker! Pull on these nuts! I've been trying to get away from your dumbass for a minute! The only reason I'm actually here is because you threatened me with a weapon, you stupid motherfucker! He's a witness! Yeah, right. Shut up, bitch! I've been seating the whole time, you gotta tell me to stay seated! Stupid motherfucker. You'll be you'll be you'll be in court witnessing this shit. You'll be testifying to some of this shit, officer, or investigator, or detective. Wow, all these pigs for a non-criminal offense, obviously they're bored and have nothing better to do than to harass innocent civilians, you know? There's all kinds of shit that goes on in this world, guys. And here we have three monsters, you know, wasting time and harassing us. These monsters. And again, I, the, the, our hate should not be with, with these people that, you know, when you are in a cage and uh, the only way to survive is getting those pieces of paper, you, you're gonna take the job, you know. We should uh, address our hate, uh, direct focus. Fuck us, fuck us. Our hate on, uh, on, on, the, on s who structured the system like this, of having these this monsters and a human being which is treated like, uh, like a little kid. That's where the, uh, the anger should be pointed, you know. These also are victims, these, these also are in the cage with us. You know, they will get money. Otherwise, what, what, what can you do, man? Go in the street and live in the street? This is the option we have, guys. They also have a gun pointed in their head. Yeah. 
The problem is when you are programmed, you know, to not suffer, you know, to have all the toys and all the beautiful things that this uh, system gives to you if you just take the job, you know. Oh, how fun. You, you can buy the latest toys, you know, have everything you want, you know. You can have woman every night, a, a different one, you know. You can buy all kinds of uh, the car you, you like, you know, everything, you know. And when you are programmed like this by the, by the system, which knows, which shows you all that uh, beautiful things, so that you are hooked, you know, you will uh, rationalize being a killer, working for the enemy. You will have no conscience. Shut the fuck up, bitch! Shut the fuck up! You're dumb as fuck! Get your boss over here, you dumb motherfucker! Stupid bitch! You guys doing good? You guys are doing good, you know? He's just, uh, you know, politely asking the, the other two dummies that are still there how it's going, you know? Just to be... You know, you, you have to use language with these monsters, guys, because language is... Uh, what transforms a human being from an animal to a human being? Language. With language, we, you can, like, you know, make them better. You can uh, use language to, to smooth, you know, because otherwise, in their mind, who knows what, what can go on in their mind, their imagination, you know, it can be dangerous. And so that's why. It's good to talk with these monsters, especially when you are threatened like this with someone which, which can kill you from a moment to another. You guys find that guy? Nope. So he is asking, you know, since he saw this, this thugs, you know, uh, doing uh, some search for, 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 for someone with a gun, you know, and he saw them with uh, rifles and everything. He's asking, did you find what you were looking for, you dummies? No, you guys didn't find that guy? Nope. Yeah, that's Bell! Tell that motherfucker who I is! You tell that dumb motherfucker who I is! You stupid motherfucker! So he, he is going now because uh, a superior, you know, came and uh, he's now talking with the superior and uh, and they will... <laughs> because th these are dumb people, guys. They have to... They have to ask someone higher than that because they cannot do anything if they are not being told, you know, not even pee, if someone else doesn't give them permission. So of course, in a situation, you know, I, was, I was saying about these people here that were searching for that guy, uh, of course, in a situation like we are right now, of course, it would, it, it would uh, seem plausible to, to have a police, otherwise, you know, if, you, if, it, if, it's, if there is no police, Things will, will go uh, will go very bad, but again, as as many say, you know, if we all were armed, you know, <laughs> the problem is if we are if we all are armed, but with the head that we have right now, which we are brainwashed and uh, and uh, we we don't have a system set up at the moment, you know, to. But in my opinion, if we ever could get rid of this evil force which is as in their motto they say you know ordo ab cao you know chaos the lord you know chaos from the order you know we might might find out you know that there are which of course i don't want to go into this because it's uh, i have lost hope in this uh, from from this it, it's just funny for me to it, it was just like a breeze of air you know to 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 see this video I don't ever expect human beings, you know, with this evil force that we are dealing to ever wake up or 
uh, we are so we, we, we've been so poisoned by our enemy and so confused and, and divided that we can never you know they they are very powerful because they know they have an, an, an objective but let's say for example uh, to the sheeple let's say you want uh, another world what their direction should we take this other world that we want to create you'll have you know communists that want to go in a certain direction you'll have lo those uh, the anarchists that will go would want to go in another direction yeah, you'll have those that think that you know technology you know the zeitgeist or venus project or uh, you know, we would have people that believe in god that should think uh, they they would give another direction those that do not believe those that hate god th th there are so many kind of direction that our enemy has put in our heads and we are totally confused and uh, that uh, pff, you cannot fix something like this guys in my opinion how can you you tell that motherfucker who I is, Sergeant. <sighs> tell that stupid motherfucker who I is. So you guys didn't find him? Third time, no. No? My bad. For the third time, no. Oh, for the third time. I mean, I didn't mean to. Okay, okay but, but uh, if, if uh, you know, someone powerful asks him, you know, he will never tell him, you know, for the third time, no. I'm tired of answering it to you. Oh, good, man. I don't know if you heard me or not. No, I didn't, man. Okay. I did. That's why I asked. I'm not trying to annoy you, bro. No, you're yeah, I'm not. Me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bow, bow, bow. Yeah, I think I saw you earlier. I saw you and uh, yep. I saw both you guys. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did. Yeah. No, we did not find them. Man, that's that's weird. I saw a lot of you guys over there, man. And uh, when I saw the rifles, I was like, crap. What happened? So let me let me ask you this: like, like, what? When do you draw rifles? Cause I don't. That's the first time I've seen two solid rifles. When do you guys usually draw them? When we have imminent belief that a weapon is involved. Oh, okay. Just kind of discretion. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now look what happened, guys. Uh, looks like you know they are friendly. Okay, so it just looks like they're friendly, apparently. But this guy, uh, you know, the the guy filming them, doesn't care if he was friendly with him. Uh, but at a certain point, he just. Uh, says something that he doesn't like, he just switches and uh, look what happened. A little discretion? Yeah. This dumb motherfucker here. Stupid bitch! Tell him he's a stupid bitch, Sergeant! Tell your little dog he's a stupid bitch! Yeah. Can I ask you to not talk like that? You can can, I, can I ask you to not talk like that? <laughs> ask, but hey, it's America. I yeah, no, you don't. Obviously, you don't. What I'm saying, what I'm saying I don't care what you're saying at this point. If you're going to try to censor my speech, fuck you. No, you I'm stupid motherfucker. I'm just saying it's not up in your situation now. I don't have a situation. <laughs> I don't have a situation, you monsters. Oh, that, that, this was great. It's not helping your situation. You monsters put me to, to this because you are monsters. And now I have a situation, you monsters. Okay? Stupid shit. Look at the dummies, wasting time. You know, there's only one life to live, you know, but when you are dumb like this, you just waste it like this, you know. Just, you know, fixing problems that the elite has created. You know, look at this. Dumb people, look. Wasting the, 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 the best hour of, their, of the day, you know, with, with documents, with numbers, with, with killing people. Look at this dumbness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, make the make the hand like this. What a dumbness. Yeah, this is what you deserve. The middle finger, you dumbness. Great, here's the uh, my hero man. He's uh, from Vietnam. You know, it takes so, such a huge, uh, you know, 
courage to smile in this situation, guys. It's unbelievable. What up, what up, big dog? <laughs> big dog. <laughs> Here comes the surgeon. Big dog. What up, big dog? No thanks. Am I free to go? Am I free to go? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck off. Eat a dick, sergeant. Eat a dick, sergeant. You're a stupid motherfucker, sergeant. You stupid motherfucker. You stupid son of a bitch. Eat a fucking dick. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Yeah, buy these nuts, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> so, after this, in 89, 1989, we had this. Who knows if this thing is real or whatever. This dude uh, was my hero and is my hero for doing that. In 2019, where, when this was published, after 30 years later, we have Bao, again from Asia. So, <laughs> oh man! So now, uh, let's watch this guy because this is powerful. Who am I pleading to? Am I pleading to you? You're pleading to the court. Well, it doesn't sound like it. It looks, it looks like I'm at a counter filling out a form. I don't see a court anywhere. Is there? Can I Can I be in front of the court before I start signing pleas? If you want to be seen in front of the judge, uh, you would plead not guilty and the judge would hear it too. Well, like I said, is, how, when did I become not guilty? I, I was walking around innocent. Just one second, okay? Hmm. Text the chat this activated, guys. You guys, uh, I understand the difference between innocent and not guilty. No, -uh, is, did you tell her there was a problem? No, he's, I'm still trained. Okay, so why would she assume there's a problem? I didn't see there's a problem. She did. I'm asking you what's going on with the issue. I thought you were asking me if there was a problem. I was just, I didn't. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, gosh, I, I, I don't know why would, why would you ask that question. I, is, did someone tell you there was a problem? I can hear you from my desk. You're yelling through the window. I am? Yeah. <laughs> I'm yelling? Can you please stop recording me, sir? You're, you're... Well, listen, there's no problem. Uh, the, the reason I'm here is to take care of this threat that's on this, this piece of paper. It says on there that someone will come to my house or my work if I don't take care of that. So that's what I'm here to do. I'm, I'm here to, to, to mitigate that threat. And I was telling this young lady here, she's reading a lot of stuff and saying a lot of things, but I was trying to explain to her, I just got out of jail. So when uh, I was trying to get my family member to call up here and, and let you guys know that I was in jail while it was happening. Uh, but, you know, they were telling me that they, they kept leaving voicemails and, you know, it, it just didn't work out. But I just got out on September 2nd. And I've been, I've been on the phone with you guys trying to take care of this so I didn't have to show up. This is how you take care of it. Well, what I'm trying to say is, I feel like I'm just pleading to a... What are you, like a clerk of the court? Yes. Yeah, and I just, gosh, how can I possibly plead to, plead to a clerk of the court when she doesn't even know when my status changed from innocent to not guilty? So, um, and, and you also can't give me legal advice. So how can I even plead to someone who can't give me legal advice? So um, as much as I'd like to help, uh, you, you know, get on with your process, uh, I'm just trying to take care of the immediate threat. How do I get, you know, just let me know what my options are as far as, um, I mean, it's okay if you say either pay us or we're coming to get you. If that's the only option, that's fine. Or, you know, pay us, or sign this form. I mean, I'll do whatever you guys want. I just want you guys to actually lay it out clearly versus being vague about it. It's not being vague, it's you. This is what you state about your ticket. When you got your ticket. Well, gosh, I'm not stating anything. That form, I don't even, I've, I've never seen that form before, so I don't even feel comfortable even putting anything on it. Uh, I'm not stating anything. I'm not trying to make a statement at all. I'm just trying to get rid of the, the threat of a warrant. Well, if you pay your ticket, it automatically goes guilty. Okay, if you pay, everything will go fine. If you're just a dumb sheep, well, everything will go fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Two people watching. 
who are you? Do you want me to continue with this? Of course I will. Because this is beautiful. This guy is my hero. So I'll give you money. Yeah, and he goes as a fine. Okay, so so my that's that's the options. Give you money or you guys are coming for me? No, that's not the options. What oh, you have that no. for is we issued a plea hearing for you guys. Mm -hmm. For you because we have to have a plea. This dummy here, guys, doesn't see that she lives in a cage. So she uh, genuinely doesn't see that there's something wrong here. Genuinely. He thinks she lives in, in the free world and everything, everything is fine. Because she has no idea, you know, of how free we used to be before. She's programmed like this and she doesn't see any problem. Which basically says on that ticket you got, you can say whether you are or not guilty, you are guilty or not guilty, or no look and tender, which Why can't I be innocent? So if you want look how clean and how, how, how elegant and how educated the sheep are, guys. Look, even though they are, you know, worse than slavery. They are enforcing uh, tyranny right now, you know. And yes, look how clean and how educated and how how good they are with themselves. Look how how, how beautiful the color, the color of her, of her hair. Look how how nicely she talks. When a plea is innocent, you say you're not guilty. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds like it's not guilty. That's not the same thing. So those are the options of the court? She, she doesn't even realize. Well, I understand that's the option of the courts, but I'm, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I'm walking around if innocent. If you wanted to do anything else, you'd have to contact the lawyer. I don't want to do anything at all. I want to, I want to figure out how to, 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 you know, get that threat of a warrant stopped. I want how to, I, I want to figure out how to, um, to, to, you know, get away from that threat. So, other... So, um, this interaction right now is seen as, uh, as an attack from one of these ladies. And what happens, she calls the cops, which uh, it's what you get if you refuse to pay. And, you know, complying to your options. It's okay if, if, if your options is to comply. If you comply with what we say, then we'll leave you alone. I'm okay with that, just say it. Um, but, you know, don't, don't try to say that. Yeah, you know, not, this is what uh, I'm always, you know, fought with the sheeple guys. I, I always would always tell them, okay, man, let's at least do not fool each other. Let's say that we, we are slaves. And uh, I can accept from you, for example, if you tell to me, listen, Marcel, you are right, but uh, we, are, we, we are just slaves and uh, we, there's nothing else to do. So that's why I'm, I'm working for the devil right now. At that point, I will accept it, man. I will not agree with you uh, that uh, there's nothing to do, that we, we could do something, but they would, would never accept not even that. And that's, uh, that's crazy, huh? Just a little piece of paper, you'll plead to me, the, the court clerk, and then I'll give it to the, you know, whoever. Gosh, the other day when I was on the phone with the lady, she said, I'm not even allowed to talk to the judge. So how can I plead to a clerk? I mean, are you going to judge me as far as I'm guilty or not? Or are you just going to no, process the paper? If you wanted to go be seen in front of, a, of the judge, hear your case to decide the judgment of guilty or not guilty, you would plead not guilty and go see, be seen in front of the judge. I want to plead innocent. Here, sir, hang on with me. That, can you guys hear her? Is the audio picking up on... Uh, on the ladies on the other side? Yeah, unfortunately, yes. Here comes the, the, the superior monster. Which, by the way, in this moment, just call the police. But you'll see them coming just... So, um, pretty much you need to fill out your plea. So you are a sheeple. Uh, uh, we need to, to slaughter you right now. How come you are not understanding this? I am the thug with the knife right now that I want to uh, cut your your 
your fur right now because we want to use it. What's your what's your problem with that? Why don't you understand your sheep? Here they come. Here come the dummies. Always seen a couple like the like the, the like the testicles. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? All right. Is there any, uh, am, am I scaring you guys somehow? No, no we're you? just we're just here. We're just okay. What's going on? Cool, cool, cool. Uh, is there is there anything I can do to? I mean, okay, cool. I'm just I'm just here trying to take care of this blue piece of paper I have in the mail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I, I just saw you guys, so I'm just a little concerned about my safety right now. So what goes on right now, guys? It will be pure comedy. Pure comedy if you have a brain. This guy will make fun of them in in, uh, in lots of ways, but th these dummies do not understand because they they do not pick the cops uh, to be intelligent, unfortunately. So they will not understand the the how he's fooling with them. Why would you be concerned? Uh, because you guys have weapons on you and mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're police uh, officers. Well, gosh, I. Uh, yeah. I'm just stating the obvious. Uh, the reason I'm concerned, mm -hmm. uh, if you're asking, is that's the concern. So, um, if, if there's anything I can help you with, I'll be more than glad to. Is there anything going on here? I mean, he basically just needs to show up to sleep. He wants okay. to take care of his warrant. Okay. And uh, Kayla's already explained to him his options. Uh -huh. And he, I'm just not having a hard time understanding him. Okay, what part of it are you not understanding? Uh, are you, are you going to help me with the legal ease portion of it? Or Excuse me? Are you going to help me with the legal portion of it, or how are you going to help me? What do you mean legal portion? I'm not an attorney, so what are you asking? Well, I'm, gosh, I'm, right now I'm asking the, I'm not, I'm not asking anything from you. Well, I'm asking if I can help you. Get no, you done. can't. Okay. Well, what's the problem? As far as he, what is he not understanding? So he's basically got three options to take. You got the. Yeah, see, I just called you because you know this sheep doesn't want to pay. That's all. Only for that. Three options to take care of this warrant. Okay. Is he gonna Even though he did nothing to us, nothing. Be my advisor somehow, or is, is there a reason why he's here <laughs> talking about or listening on on my situation? Oh man, this is you piece of shit! That this monster here, look, she called and he now doesn't know what to do. This monster, monster. It's a, a public building. I can be here. And, as a matter of fact, I was called over here. Okay. Okay. And are you gonna are you called over here to help me? And with this? Well, or? if I can, I will. Well, gosh, I don't think you can, but you might. So, okay, what can so you help me with if you think you can? Uh, which portion of it do you think you can I help me with? The problem is Th there okay. is no problem. I'm trying to figure out. Um, gosh, I'm trying to figure out. Uh, she's saying that I can. I can fill out. <laughs> By the way, this is exactly as my GoPro. What is holding? This piece of paper and give all my info, mm -hmm. and then just sign it. And she's saying that I can. That's what you're saying, right? I can make a plea. Yeah, and if I don't do that, what happens? The warrant will stay open. Okay, and so if, if I don't if I don't sign this piece of paper and check the boxes you want, you will. It's not the box that I want. It's whatever you want. To see. I don't want to do that at all. Okay, so then we pretty much can't help you if you're not going to submit a plea to the court. Th that's what I'm hearing. So how can you? Uh, <laughs> what was he going to do to help me? Or who called him over? Uh oh, <laughs> you piece of shit. Don't even have the balls to tell him that I called him. <laughs> you monster. I called him over. Oh, okay, so <laughs> is, it, is he going to help me somehow or what you call him well, over well, for? What's the problem? How come we don't want to sign any of that? What, what's the we're deal? We're all trying to help you. You're just being difficult. Like yeah, and we we're, were trying to help you by, by calling the police. Yeah. Uh, it, it's better with a gun pointing in your head, yes. Um, I don't feel that way. I feel it's like I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make clarifications about this. Look at another dummy here. Let's go with the dummy. Here, look, look, look at the face, man. The face speaks volumes. And, uh, well, she also told me she was in training, and then every time I asked her a question, she would go away, and then come back, and then you would come back, and now you're claiming that she's doing something that she didn't. Yeah. This is your plea. And if, if, if I don't do this... If I, you I, don't do this, the case is basically going to stay open, mm -hmm. and the warrant will stay open. Okay, so the threat, the, the, this, this threat of uh, in order to avoid physical arrest at your home or work uh, will, still be, uh, will still be out there for me? Mm -hmm. And then what's my other option other than, than doing these three things? Do I have any other options? That would be it. I don't have any other options.
So the option is the payment plan. Um, and so someone in the chat said, you know, uh, tell the police to, uh, to, you know, to stay a little bit, to, to give you a little bit of space. So they will not, you know, just be in your face like, like they are. Is there any interest associated with that? There's no interest, but if you need longer than 30 days for a payment plan, there is a time payment for a time Okay, and I don't want to interrupt you or, or um, stop you from what you're doing, but is he still going to be here to help me, or um, is he going to just stand there and kind of listen in on what I'm... Well, gosh, I'm kind of discussing uh, my particular situation, so I, I don't feel comfortable with someone else listening in on it. Again, um, you said it's a public building. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, gosh, uh, can I get some space at least, where I have personal space? Sure, you got that. Yeah, can I just, is, is it okay for me sure. to put my hands out? And, Absolutely. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, it, would this be all right? Sure. All right, no cool. Problem. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it either. Um, so, how, okay, what, so now that you've heard everything that's been said, how can you help me? You said you were going to come up here to help me. Uh, how do you plan on helping I said me? I would help you if I could. So okay, so can you help me at this point? It's pretty simple. I mean, you've got those three options. It's pretty so simple. Just band over so we can service you. So, so is that a yes or a no? I'm, I'm giving you my advice. Uh, what's your advice? Take one of the three options. Take one of the three options. <laughs> he answers, you know, the, the, the question was, of course, just a funny question, you know? He was not mad, you know, so that you could... Oh man, these people are so dumb, it's unbelievable. What do we have here? How long? One hour already. Not a problem. There's one sheep watching but doesn't want to communicate. Uh, this is the sheep, unfortunately. Where are we? We'll close this and continue with this because it was funny. And and gosh, with your experience, what option should I pick? I could tell you that because you're the one's gonna pay for it. I'm not. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So you know. So. Mm -hmm. They are very clever, man. So clever. Very clever. So, I, I, I don't know what your financial situation is. You may need more than 30 days. Yeah, the, the dummy continues. He, he doesn't understand that he's making fun of him. The, the dummy continues to answer. He doesn't understand the question is uh, a rhetorical, a rhetorical question. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But yeah, yeah, you're right. He doesn't understand, man. These people are dumb. That's why they choose them. But, yeah, gosh, um, it's good that you're here to help me to some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, when you are... <laughs> He can choose what uh, he can choose what he can wear. This one, no, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> and you're saying that you know. Let me let me get another advice from you. If I don't want to do this, what else, what what other remedies should I seek? Obviously, he's already mentioned that to you. Um. Well, well. If, if Come on, it's easy, man. She already told you. Gosh, I would much rather have advice from a constable. <laughs> and he's already here. So, gosh, uh, if, if I, you know, if I couldn't afford this attorney and I had your advice, and I didn't really want to do this because I'm walking around innocent right now still, and I don't want to, you know, claim that I'm not guilty or guilty, or, gosh, is that Latin? Um, but... Unfortunately, yes, man, because in case, you know, someone understands our tricky English with the law, we put some Latin there also, so that... Gosh... Um, what remedies would, would, would I seek if I was, or if you was me? How, how would you seek this remedy if you're walking around innocent? Uh, it looks like you've been boxed into three options. One of them is Latin, which you don't, I mean, I, you don't even speak because you're not Latin, I guess, or for me in, in my situation. So what would you pick? I mean, how, how should I go about this? We can't give you legal advice. Oh, okay. So, Gosh. So, so what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> my bad. I didn't realize that. So, uh, um, other, you, you said the payment plan I can do. Um, what other remedies do I have other than paying you? you right or, or, or filling out your paperwork. If, if I don't want to fill out your paperwork and give you my information and, uh, or pay you money, uh, can I see someone, can I see, uh, can I see a fair and unbiased party to judge on this matter? Well, you would plead not guilty and that's what you would I don't want to plead at all. I just want to see, I mean, if, if I was going to plead, I would plead guilty. But I would, I would like to have some questions first as far as some clarifications pertaining to the cause and nature of these accusations. So uh, one of them would be, is this a civil matter or a criminal matter? Okay, so since it's a criminal matter, uh, 
I'll have tons of clarifications as far as you know, getting the discovery process and doing some of that. Who's actually bringing the claim forward? Uh, and gosh, it's the officer from the sheriff's office. Okay, so um, gosh, do, do you mind if I borrow a pen? Oh, here we go. Look how the pan are, are made, guys. They are. They want to disguise the pans also because it's, it's too ugly. Just the pan, you know. They they've made the pan as as a fake flower, you know. Look at this shit. So you said the officer is the one. Uh this is the fakery of the system, guys. These monsters, these fake people, fake pans, uh, fake the everything. Uh, when you say the officer, it's what do you monsters. mean? Monsters. Any officer? It's just the officer? Uh, officer with Sheriff's Department. And he's bringing these criminal charges forward? Anyway, and so... And if I wanna, if I wanna, if I wanna... So this is another one that I wanted to show when he shows up at, at the monster here, the judge. Look at this monster, guys. Judge, if I may have my property back, I, I do have... What you to do is Sure. Are you able to afford another attorney? <coughs> or do you want me to appoint one? Because I'd rather you not represent yourself. It's kind of like David and Goliath. Even though David did win. Even though David did win, you know. But you cannot win with us, you little piece of shit. Yes, David win at the end, you monster. Yes. And you know that monster? That you monster will lose? Um, going up against people that have already been to law school. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> probably not a good Judge. idea. Do I, do I have the right to plead guilty today? Do I have the right to plead guilty today? Judge, my intentions are to plead guilty. I want to get this matter over with. I don't have time to come back here okay. month after month after month. Okay. I'm seeking clarifications prior to pleading. Okay. Judge, do I have the right to a fair and meaningful hearing today? Sure. Judge, do we I have the right... We usually set our, meeting, our hearings at another time, but we can take a plea today. Judge, can I be... Do I have the right to be informed of the cause and nature of the accusations and proceedings? These are reptilian guys. Absolutely. That's what the attorney will do. Judge, am I presumed innocent? Yes. Judge, if I presume innocent, am I presume in innocent to all the elements of the accusation? Uh, yes. Judge, if I'm, if I'm presumed innocent to the elements of the accusation, is jurisdiction an element? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 the sheeple. The sheeple. So let's see about this judge. Cheryl Hardy. Uh, that, that, is, that is one sick individual. This woman is so dishonest and so power hungry. She's willing to put a man not accused of any harm. That's, that's going to make this clear. He's not accused of hurting anybody. He's a peaceful guy. And she's ordering a, a, a not only incarceration, she's ordering a psychological event. She's questioning the man's sanity because he's questioning the, the evidentiary, the required evidentiary basis that the prosecution is, has for the claim. She has no training in psychology. She has no expert witness in the room. She's keeping him in a prison cell and taking away any avenue of release. Now, it's extremely unpopular for people to conceive of, wait, is it possible that the country I live in has, it no longer has anything to do with actual freedom where the rubber meets the road? I mean, this is the most minor of traffic court, quote unquote, violations, and this is happening. It, it, it's not easy for people to digest this. That I live in something that is just a few steps away from Nazi Germany and people dying. But I don't see how people, if they have the courage to take an honest look at the situation, how they can come to any other conclusion. I don't like that feeling it puts in my stomach either, but I honestly, sincerely, I'm like, oh, I'm within the borders claimed as the United States of America. I'm in deep shit. I'm not going to give out the number for a bit because we're already loaded up, but um, I want to bring Joe up. Joe has got an update on Bao because I believe he spoke with him already. So welcome back to the show, Joe. So you've spoken with Bao? Well, I, I'm sorry. I meant to relay that I've spoken to him probably more than anyone else. I've done a lot of one-on-one -on -one preps for court with him. Uh, I did listen to the two phone calls that he made from jail. 
two members of the Skype group and uh, heard his account. Um, what else can I clarify for you? Well, just let us know what's going on now. Now, we, we get that oh, okay. you've got some personal knowledge here, so just let us yeah. know, you know pretty much what's going on. Right. So basically what this is is a standard scare tactic. Um, we've seen it before, uh, first with a guy named Scar a couple years ago and uh, Gabe. I believe there was one other who got uh, Psyche Valve. And they like Robin? Ambush. Well, well, Psych evolved psychologically, you know, <laughs> you know, when you are not dumb as the rest of the sheep that just pays, you know, you are psych evolved. Yes, thank you for not working. Yes, did they do that to Robbie? Uh, yes, they did as well. You're correct. They uh, forced him on, on him too. So this seemed like a, an ambush. Um, Bao was, you know, it's coming along nicely with his uh, you know, practice and role plays and whatnot. Um, he did not and you know the, the what what makes me what's angry for me guys is that uh these people that you know think that you know we have a law and everything you know they don't understand that the law we have laws and justice so-called justice and everything unless it works unless you know uh, someone figure out their tricks in their books and everything and uh, gets away with it then it will not work they would say to you, no, okay, you, you figure out that this is just a trick to, to, to fool you sheeple. Now we will show us, uh, we will show you the re our, our real face. And from these monsters, which are all, you know, calm and everything, these judges, look how, how, how beautiful is life for this monster, for this reptilian, you know. They will... Uh, remove their their ugly face you know they they mask you know of of, uh, of just being uh, like this you know oh the law oh, everything when people will realize that this this old theater and we, we are living in china and these are thugs that have only the appearance of humans but these are monsters then at that point you will see you know, carnage but right now they they are not doing because we are the dead guys they did 9-11 in our face and we don't care because we are the dead. Okay, so that's why the, the law, this BS works as soon as uh, we realize that, that it's, it's all BS, there's no justice. They will show their real face, you know, right now they are like slaughtering us and we still think, ah, oh, but, but it's not a knife. They, they are just like caressing me with this tool, they are... When the sheep will realize that they have this knife in their belly, it will be too late, in my opinion. It will be too late. So let's go with this. I really like this one also. This is how the police uh, treats humans as pieces of shit. So they found out the homeless guy in the uh, in the bus and. Uh, He's going to film how the police deal with this guy, with this human being, which is which stays as, as he is as a homeless guy because the system wants this dysfunctional, this uh, destroyed people so that can make uh, can scare the rest of us so that we will accept to be treated as pieces of shit in our jobs as they are treated as pieces of shit. This dummies. Come on, man, play this fucking thing. What up, what up, y'all? Hey, sure <laughs> now, what do you think his, his reaction will be of her telling him, you know, just stay away? This is the reaction. Merda. Yeah. Pieces of shit. <laughs> you know, cameras are everywhere, you know, even in our ass. And yet, if, but if you use the camera, oh man, they hate it. And I know something, guys. I know something because I, I deal with this all the time. They hate you when you use the camera, guys. They hate it. 
I hate it because these people are filthy. You're just making sure you don't shoot anyone in the back. Oh, he's putting the latex gloves on. Oh dear. What kind of sick fucker walks around with latex gloves at the ready? What kind? Here comes the fuck, guys. He just uh, watches this guy, you know, and he thinks right now I'm gonna kick his ass. But he doesn't know that he's dealing with a lion, not not a sheep. Look. What kind of fucked up shit is that? Just yeah, yeah. You sick motherfucker. Get away from me with those gloves, man. Why? Why? If you keep cussing, you're, you're gonna have to leave. Here comes the thug. I feel he f found the way how to attack him. He's c cussing. Are you going to cuss? Yes, sir. Yeah. You, you, you willing to bet your job on it? You stupid bitch. Oops. The job? Not. No, no, no. I, I'm not willing to, to, to bet my job. No. Bitch. Okay. You stupid motherfucker. You lose your qualifying immunity. I'm letting you know right now. Oh, oh uh, he is, he's nervous right now. He, he he doesn't know how to deal with the, with the sheep. He thought he was a sheep, but he unfortunately he is not. Ha, huh, dummy! What do we'll, what would you will do next now, you dummy? Exactly, because you that's because you're a dumb bitch. You know that? That's fair. Yeah, it is fair. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough, dumb bitch. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Look how, how how they are humiliating in front of, of the other dumbest, you know? It's just, it's just like being in a class, you know? They all work together like, like dumbest and are not ashamed you know, of, of someone just, you know, the, laughing at them. Just, I, I would be just ashamed that I would just run away from the, uh, those people that I work with all the time, you know? After I've been humiliated like this. Look at the dumbest. Look, they just look around like nothing happened. He was just humiliated right now. <laughs> look, he's got his hand by his gun. Look, look at how happy he is. This motherfucker's moving. Look, he's got his hand by his gun already. What the fuck? Just because I call you a dumbass? <laughs> you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> oh, get <around> on <laughs> Oh, shit. Motherfucker's got his hand by the ready. This motherfucker's got half a glove on already. This look, look, look how cool they are. Like, oh, nothing happened here, you know. Uh, we have a, a lion here just raping us right now and humiliating, but nothing. nothing there's nothing wrong. We're in control. We dumbest. This motherfucker looks like he's about to touch somebody inappropriately. Why the fuck would you walk around with blue latex gloves? I don't know why. Do you guys do that shit? No? <laughs> they're, they're laughing, yeah. <laughs> Laugh, you dummy. Yeah. Yeah. Laugh. <laughs> you guys have a good day. Be safe. Record the police. Yeah, they are very nervous when you point the camera to them. Look. Okay, both of them. Two of them got latex gloves on now. I got, I got one circling me. She's, she's behind me circling me and shit. I don't know. I don't know what her deal is, but. She's fucking circling me. Every chance she's get, she's circling me. Don't know what her fucking problem is. There's a human being there, and they are, you know, dealing as 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 as, as, as if it's a sheep, of course.
This is so real, man. If you, if you live in Rome, this is what you'll see. Police, you know, harassing poor people. People in the street like this. All the time. It's sickening, really. So let's see this other... Um, Okay, th this is it's too beautiful, this one, so I will go first with this. Look at this dummy, guys. Hey, how's it going? Good. You doing good? I'm well, how are you? I'm doing well. Good. Mm, look at the dummy, he has the phone with the... with the... Uh, peace logo, you know? This dummy. He causes war, you know, by being so dumb, you know? And yet he, he loves peace. This monster looks. What are you doing? Uh, just, I was taking some recording of the outside the building. Uh, I went inside, but there wasn't much of a public access area. Yeah, you're not supposed to record so, inside. You're not supposed to record inside? No. There's is, signs posted on the window. Is there? Sure. Is, is there a law or is it just this? I missed it. Who, who are you? Uh, my name is Bao. Who are you? I, I'm Captain Hubbard. Captain Hubbard? Nice yeah. to meet you. Bao. Pleasure. Bao. Pleasure, pleasure. Bao? Yeah, yeah Bao. You, uh, you say like B O W. Bao? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Captain, while you're out here, do you mind giving me a tour of the facilities? I, I do mind. I, yeah, I won't do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, what are you needing it for? Oh, just, gosh, I, I do a lot of documenting as far as public buildings. So, um, okay. that's what I was... I'm going to just back up a little bit. There's uh, Just get some people in my view. There's some people walking up on me. Um, hey, how's it going? I'm well, how are you? Good, 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 good. Okay. Um, are they here to see you or...? I, I don't know. Oh, okay. How about the guys? To figure out what you were doing. Oh, okay. All you guys, all you guys are, are doing the same thing, right? Trying to figure out what I'm doing. Maybe. Okay. I, I, you, they were walking up on you, so I wanted to let you know. I'm, you probably know them, uh, probably, but I don't. So, uh, I just wanted a little bit of space because all you guys have guns on you, and I don't. Oh, well, um, huh? well, I mean, you guys got tasers too. You don't. Going there, huh? Well, I'm just, you know, I just want to keep a decent distance, there, and, huh? and where I can at least see you guys. Um, but I mean, gosh, it, it, does, it doesn't, uh, sir, do you mind standing where I can see you? Do you mind standing where I can see you? He can stand anywhere he wants, I would think. Okay, do you guys mind if I back up to where I can see all of you guys? Back up anywhere you want. Let okay. me back up. Oh, no, it's cool, it's cool. Let me back up. All right. Well, man, can I help you guys with anything? No, we're okay. just standing out here. Okay, okay cool. All right, as, as long as I'm not in kind of any kind of danger. I, I don't know why you're going there. Why are you going there? Well, because you guys are armed and I'm not, and you guys are surrounding me. Oh, uh, well, I'm telling you right now, I'm not armed. We don't know that because we don't have... Like, well, I, I don't have any reasons to lie to you. you. Backpack. Well, the backpack, guys. You let us look at your backpack? Uh, if, if, you, if you really want no, to, but I, I, I don't see... You want us to. Uh, gosh, I, I don't want you guys to do anything. Uh, look how clean America is, guys. Everything is so fakely beautiful. People are also are so elegant. Look. So polite. But leave me alone for now. Not armed? Yeah, I mean, the only thing I really want is to be left You're alone for now. Suspiciously, uh, doing some suspicious things. I'm doing suspicious things? Yes, you are. Uh, what? Suspicious thing. But if we film, you know, with cameras everywhere, it's not suspicious. What's so suspicious about what I'm doing? Well, I, I think that's a, apparent. How is it apparent? You're, you're, you're wanting this confrontation, that's obvious. No, I don't. Uh, I'm, I'm letting you know now, I would much rather be left alone right now without anyone here and just continue recording. Yeah, you're uh, recording. Just, just, hey, just, you just can record and do what you want to do. Okay, uh, I just want to. Same thing. Cool. That's nope, not, not a problem at all. I just don't want to. I just want to figure out how you justify your claim as me being suspicious. Well, we're we're just doing the same thing you're doing. We're recording out in public. Well, that doesn't answer my question. I know well, what you're we doing. Don't have to answer your question anymore, and you have to answer our question. So well, we're just, well, you're the one making the claim. You step you're, off the sidewalk. This guy needs to do a job here. Okay, you need to step off. You need to get off the what? The sidewalk right here. Go right here. Okay. Th there's a slave trying to work. Let me get out of the way. Let me get out of the way. Okay, so this thing, you know, goes on for uh, for hours. And it's just funny, you know, because this dummy, you know, without even talking, you know, would, would just act like this. They come to this building. Let me ask you this. Is that a state law, a local law? Is it a building law? What kind of law is that? Look, he doesn't answer. It's an hour law. How about that? It's a what? It's an hour law. Security purposes. Hour, like a, like building. Record your stuff and just do what you need to do. 
Um, I'm doing it now. You don't want to answer my questions? I'm not going to answer your questions. Well, I will. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm going to. But uh, like I said, if, if you want to, if, if just to be I'm fair, I'm live streaming too. That's cool. That's okay. cool. But to be fair, uh, like, I'm live streaming too. He doesn't know how, not even to, to to take a picture, judging by his face. So this thing goes on, you know, and continues like this, and this dummy looks like. Look, look at the waste of time. Look, look at this dance. It's very dangerous, the camera for these monsters, guys. Very dangerous. Secrecy is their game. So look, he, he has the dummy still uh, lurking around. Eh? Look, he's changing the, the view. And you will see the other dummy recording, just wasting <laughs> uh, space. Yeah. Where is the other dummy? Here it is. Look at this shit, man. It's all fun and games with you guys, isn't it? You know, and, and this is uh, very cool, man. Uh, if you, uh, if we can analyze this, you know, we can see that uh, they are really pissed of the camera, and they think that uh, by doing the same thing to us, you know, by pointing a camera at us, we would be like uh, angry at that. But they do not realize that when you put light on the light, it's not, not a problem. But when you put the light into darkness. That hurts. <laughs> and so they they are hurt and they think that they can hurt us. It's not a problem, man. We are used to be to be filmed everywhere. But because when you have nothing uh, when you are good, you know, when you are doing nothing evil, the uh, a camera doesn't hurt you. I can be filmed by anybody because they can publish my uh, my stuff. As long as I am not in the bathroom, for example, of course. <laughs> Uh, but this is very this dummy things that but by just pointing the camera at this guy he is uh, like uh, hurting. Look at that dummy. Well, hopefully he doesn't know how to to turn uh, on the recording and he's not wasting space right now. But very dumb, very dumb. Doesn't realize you know. Mm, I will film you as well. <laughs> and after a certain point, you know, he he just get bored. It, it, it took a really long time, and he says, you know, okay, bye-bye. Captain, um, I have this speaker hooked up to me, and it will it will just say whatever the audience types. You're not going to be offended if I turn it on, are you? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this application that he's using uh, actually can make the people in the chat, you know, say something like text-to-speech, you know. So I write a comment, and he has like a Bluetooth speaker. Which is hooked at, at the with the smartphone, and so if someone just sends an, uh, a message, uh, the text-to-speech application will read it, and uh, and, and you will get uh, things like you know, pig, pig, <laughs> you monster, you whatever, you know, because people uh, people when they are when when they hide behind uh, nicknames, they are very courageous, of course. And so <laughs> he's telling right now I'm about to turn on the speakers. But anyway, the other guy just leaves and uh Let's see if we can get it to replay. Is it uh is it something that you, you guys don't see every day so you guys react a little differently? Is there one or the other or I mean, because you guys are obviously uncomfortable with me, me being here. I mean, that's, you know, that's apparent. So I was just wondering, you know, is it the mount? Is it the, the camera? Is it the act of me recording? Uh, what is it that got you guys so, um, so riled up, if you don't mind me asking? I was riled up. Okay. 
Anyway, man, let's close with the last one. What do we have here? Oh, three people watching. Three people watching, you can comment in the chat so that, you know, we can talk about something. We can discuss this, what I'm showing you right now. This guy, if you don't know, uh, here is his channel. The name of the channel is like this. Let me write it for you. Well, if you see the video, you will figure out, but uh, I can just quickly type it for you. Clash. Hi, hi Marvi. Clash with... Hey Marvi, did you knew about this guy? With Bao. So, so this is the name of the game. Uh, clash with Bao. Yo, yo, what's up, bro? So I will close with this one, which is uh, very funny, man. And I just, I just choose six uh, videos from his channel, uh, but uh, there are, there's more. And I suggest you to just go to his channel and uh, just have fun, man. For me, it was fun at least. It was just like watching this this image, this video. And uh, you know, the more you live, the more you realize. And unfortunately, we are we are. I just wanted to show you this part here in the city, which is... I pass push-ups, mile run, uh, hit a fucking, uh, what that? L look at, uh, you know, 2020, guys. Look at the condition of human beings. That, uh, uh three, what was that? Six, six, eight, uh, no, it was six inch jump. Look at that. You gotta be able to hit a certain height. I pass all that shit. I pass all that shit. I saw a guy get his head smashing over there one night. They, oh, they, you shouldn't have shot it. Oh, I, I record. I recorded it live, and I. No, 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 no. He just. Uh, they just beat him oh, up. I thought and, you said they smashed it. No, nah, they just push it into the ground and like. Uh, oh, don't say that. He, no, that's what you, you can see it on my channel. That's why I record cops. You know, you can see him. These are the sheep of guys. Uh, completely brain dead, unfortunately. Good people, you know, but completely lost. On my channel. Let me get the fuck out your no, camera. <laughs> Everybody keeps talking about me like, I know who that is. I know who that is. Let me get the fuck out that. How you doing, ma'am? Everybody see my ass. Yeah, shit. What up, what up, big dog? How are you, man? Oh, 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 my bad. I didn't do that on purpose. How are you, big dog? Oh, really? Hell yeah, I appreciate you, big dog. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look, this is another um, uh, sign that uh, this, this is a good guy. He's very uh, humane, and I can uh, I can see this because he is very uh, comfortable by staying with poor people in the street. Look. Oh, that's not mine. You can ride it though. Uh, I don't know whose it is. Yeah, you can have it. You can have it. You got a little ginger. Got a little ginger. What's going on with the I don't need got it. I think you got to skip. Uh, yeah, the registration is textbook. That's the only city part. When you get paid, you'll get paid. For what? For watching me. You'll get paid for watching me. I get paid for watching me. Yeah. Look at the line here. I need to get paid for watching Oh, oops. Uh, uh, a police dare to, to talk to him. Look how he treats them. Just like a lion, man. I know. Use one of them, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she just mad because I air jacked her. Uh, I air jacked off to her earlier. Uh, I air splooge on the bitch. <laughs> uh, the bitch is salty. Hey, you want to grab your balls, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> They're all trannies, man. If you're in the club of a training club, you have the jobs, the best jobs and everything. Yeah? Oh, salty little. You, you can, you know, have guns and treat bad uh, poor people. 
these monsters. He said, I seen your video earlier. I mean, you watch. Yeah, he's a YouTuber. He's a fan, bitch. He's a fan when I air jacked off on you. You understand me, bitch? You stand under my words, bitch? I'm just letting you know how deposition is going to go, bitch. That's what I fucking thought. This is exactly like a Rome, guys. You know, poor people just trying to sell something. They're just, uh, just going around like this. Desperation everywhere, guys. And these thugs, you know, just managing this, this hell. What a shit. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to say a fucking thing to me now, do you? Say something else. I'll curse your bitch ass out for the rest of the time I'm here, bitch. Say one more fucking thing. That's what I fucking thought. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. This motherfucker. This motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. This motherfucker. <laughs> oh man. Fuck you, bitch. What up, big dog? What up, big dog? <laughs> Oh man, I wish I had the courage that this guy has, really. Man. For, for me, I can't find the, the laughing in this, in this hell that I find myself, man. Maybe uh, he finds a little bit of, uh, of pleasure because he has someone that watches him live. Or I don't know. After a while, it's... It will not be funny, you know, just people just giving you some little bit of money for being like this. I would, I would like, you know, to go deeper into this problem. But hey, nevertheless, you know, I love uh, what he's doing, you know. Let's see this last bit and then close this. Hey, yay guys, yay! Yay, guys! Oh, crap, this lady's running through here. Oh, crap, what's going on? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on, man? How are you? Good, good, good. Huh? What was I doing in the lobby? I was recording? Oh, uh, does it matter? Okay, am I being detained? Can I leave? Why can't, if, I, if I'm not, if I can't leave, I'm being detained. Yeah. So, so, so what crime have I committed? Our dispatchers wanted you to check, wanted us to check you out. That's not a crime. Uh, the dispatcher wanting you to do something is not a crime. Am I being uh, suspicious or uh, am I being suspicious or have I committed a yeah, crime? Yeah, you're being suspicious. Is what's, going on. What, what's so suspicious about me? Going into our lobby asking if this is where we kept drugs, went down to the dungeon area. I didn't go down into the dungeon area. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the dungeon area is. Uh, I don't know what crime you suspected me of, but can you get your manager here? Yeah, Is that him? Okay, cool, cool, cool. What's going on today, man? Oh, uh, not much. Hey, how you, how's it going? Are you the manager in charge? Cool. I'm Bao. Uh, this young man is saying that I've committed some kind of crime. I don't... Oh, he's... Well... Okay, am I being detained? We're asking you some questions, so technically, yes. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm not going to answer any questions. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to speak to my... Look at the tattoos of this monster. Good guys at days and... No, thugs at days and a monster at night. My lawyer, I can have him on the do phone. Do you have your ID with you, sir? I don't have my ID on me. Do you need this? Do you need my ID for some reason? Yes, we do. What do you need my ID for? You were acting suspiciously in our police department lobby. What did I do that was suspicious? Asking questions about the drug box. Uh, was that not the drug box? It is a drug box. Okay, so what, what? Why would asking a question about a box the that's in your lobby suspicious? In our lobby was suspicious. We just need your ID. We're gonna make sure you don't have any warrants, and if you don't, you'll be on your way. We'll uh, be on well, your way. I, uh, first of all, if, if I committed a crime, I'd be more than glad to to, to help you out however you want. But you I haven't committed. Uh, I haven't committed a crime yet. 
You need to identify yourself when we request you to. Okay, so I'm, I'm not, just so you know, I'm not from this area, so I don't know what the local laws are as far as the stop and ID state. Yourself. You should familiarize uh, yourself with them before you argue with the police. I'm not arguing. I was actually walking, I was actually walking that way, and you guys came up on me. I'm gonna give you my name. Uh, if, or, or, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cooperate with you. I'm not gonna do anything that's you know that's, that, that you're gonna be, deem as not cooperating. So uh, it's Mr. Weaver, right? Yes. Mr. Weaver, I'm gonna cooperate with you, but just I'm just gonna ask a few questions. You guys are asking me questions, and I want to ask you guys questions, folks, just to clarify what's going on here. You're not suspecting me of any kind of a crime, right? Not for sure, no. Not for sure. So you don't have, you don't have, you, you're, I'm, okay, bottom line. Hold on. Well, let me talk. Okay, go ahead. I'll let you talk, okay. and then I'll talk. You are in our police department lobby. Sure. Okay. You have this contraption. Uh, and, and what, what is this contraption, if you can describe it to know. me? It's, it's a mount. I can tell you this. This okay. is a cell phone. It's supposed to be some this kind is, of video. This is a mount. This is a cell phone. This is a mount that goes, a okay. cell phone goes on. Can I finish talking? I'm going to just let you know what this is first before you start making claims of what I have on me and what it's I don't. This. This goes to a battery pack, okay? okay? I don't have any weapons on me. There's nothing. I don't have any bad intentions. I'm going to let you guys know up front. Um, so uh, as far as, you know, the rest of it, uh, if you guys are not uh, suspecting me of a crime and you guys are detaining me, there might be some issues here and you might want to call the DA and get this sorted out. Call anyone. Well, gosh, I would you recommend would it. Talking, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Weaver. Okay, you are in our lobby with your contraption, recording device, whatever this may be. It made our dispatchers nervous when you're calling in asking about the container which the narcotics are disposed of. Your behavior is not uh, normal behavior of, uh, of dead people that we see around us. You know, you look uh, suspicious. Okay. How come you are not dead like everybody else? Is that a crime? That made our dispatchers nervous. Well, it did. is that a crime? Let yeah. me finish talking. Man, I'll let you finish. I'm just asking no, you. No, you're not. You keep interrupting me. Well, man, I, I, I would like to leave, to be honest, uh, and not interrupt you at all. As soon as we find out who you are and make sure you're not wanted anywhere, you can leave. Well, what does that have to do with anything? We've been requested to check on you. Right. Which is a call for service. Well, I... I when we do that and we request your identification, you are required to provide us your identification. Do you understand, sheeple? All right, so... Does that make sense? I hear what you're saying. Does that make sense? But I just want to... Give us your name. My name is Bao. Just shut up and give us your name. Full name. How do you spell My name is Bao. It's spelled B as in boy, A as in apple, and O as in Oscar. Full name. Uh, my last name is Nguyen. W-I-N? Yeah, and, and what's... Your name is Arnold, right? Yep. Arnold, and what's... Josh Arnold, 517. Got it. And I got Mr. Weaver at 995, right? Who's your boss, Mr. Weaver? Is there some brass in the area that's a little bit more well taught on, on as far as the, the stop and ID rules in this area? More well taught. Well, I mean, gosh, I don't. <laughs> I, you're not you, suspecting you me of a chief? crime. You want my chief? I would like that. Uh, you're not suspecting me of a crime, but you're, you're, you're no, no, stopping no, no, me and asking me for ID. So is the body cam on? I'm going to just back up to where I can have both of you guys kind of in the scene, just so nothing bad happens. I mean, you guys are armed, I'm not. Yeah, this is an somebody. Now you will see them uh, waiting for another big. <laughs> you know, you thought this was enough, you know. No, there's this one. But no, there's another one. <laughs> and what's the chief's name here in Miami? Thomas Anderson. Thomas Anderson? Yes, sir. And this is Miami PD in Oklahoma, right? Yep, yes, it is. And, and like, uh, I'll just wait for the chief. I'll just wait. your date of birth, please? Uh, man, I'm, I'm going to remain silent. Uh, You're making this more difficult. I'm not. Gosh, I would like to leave. So, I mean, I tried explaining to well, I haven't committed a crime, and we're I, on a call for service. I'm going to wait for you, Chief. I'm going to be quiet and wait for the Chief. That's fine. <laughs> Look how nervous they are right now, guys. He just owned them. And they are just waiting and, and do, do not know what to do. Look how, how dumb they look. 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 They just look around. Those dummies. Wasting time. You know, this is what happens when you are not the productive sheep, guys. You're not a, an obedient worker like everybody else. A dumb sheeple. Look, look at the dumbies just looking around as dummies.
this is how you take care of people that are alive. Uh, the one on the right just puts his uh, glasses on because he's ashamed of himself. Where are you from? <laughs> and he expects also to him to, to, to answer. You dummy, shut up. Where are you from? What the fuck you want, you dummy? You come here with, with the stop me while I was doing my, my business and everything, not hurting any, anyone. And where are you from? And, and of course he, he is the little kid, you know, he, he just needed uh, some uh, humiliation, of course, and he got it. He didn't answer to him. Oh, man. Oh, man, how I like this guy. These people are dumb. Look, 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 look at that. They're just watching around these dummies. Look. There's nothing to do, you dummy. You're surrounded by dead people. What are you looking for? Maybe are, are you realizing that you're wasted your, your, your life with, with a d dumb job like this? Look, look at this dumbness. And it's so powerful, this pause, man, without editing, just leaving this silence like this. Look, look at this dumbness, man. Look. They do not know how to be human beings, look. Just, just looking in the infinite, at the infinite. Look, one of them is, uh, is just sleeping like, like a horse, the one on the right. This other one just doesn't know where, where to keep his eyes. Maybe talk to a human being, you know? But of course, I... I would never want to talk to, to these monsters, you know. Because you cannot be a human being and ask questions humanly when you, when you are in that uniform. You cannot, man. There is a conflict of interest there. That's why they choose them like this. Man. These are pieces of shit. These are not human. Unbelievable. Powerful, powerful, bro. Powerful for not editing, just leaving this, you know. They are waiting for the for another big dog to come. Huh? And of course now he will come and look what happens, guys. Let's go faster. Even more faster. Here comes the big dog. The really big dog. Hello. Are you the police chief? Yeah. Alright, so I was walking to uh, to where I was going and this young man stopped me and detained me. Shortly after that, uh, Sergeant Weaver, I believe, came and detained me and he raised his voice at me. I have it all recorded. He was... Um, he's, they're trying to ID me. Right. I haven't done anything. They've made it clear that I haven't done anything. This young man is confused on if I'm detained or not. So, do you know if I'm being detained right now? No, Alright, thanks. No, you're free to go. <laughs> you too. Have a good day. This is what happens when you know your rights, man. You're free to go. Otherwise, you just banned and you, you get fucked by the police. Poi è ogni secondo, sa da me che... Eh, ok, ma poi andiamo via un minuto. E Mario, what's up, man? Looks like a... Like a challenger. Uh, what, the, uh, the challenger? Uh, you are talking about this guy or maybe a car challenger? Whatever. So this was Bao, guys. There would be so much to say, but uh, when you are surrounded by uh, by nobody, you know, there, there's nothing to, to say. You know, when you are talking alone, you know, like in my case, 
what can you you know I, I could talk hours and hours about this guy I can analyze everything here and uh, talk about this but the, the, there would be so much to say you know but uh, uh, we are surrounded by dead people unfortunately guys so you know what can you do so see you on the next one guys ciao Marvi see you on the next one bro ciao